Hey, KJ, 366 yards. Y'all really got the pass game going today. What, what helped open things up? Uh, the main thing, uh, preparation early in the week. Uh, we knew we was going to take shots down the field, uh, come out, start of the game, we wanted to start fast. And I uh, wanted to mix it up because the last two games we came out kind of slow uh, with a couple runs. So try to keep the defense on our toe. We came out uh, passing the ball down the field. You had got 10 passes the first two weeks, but hadn't had that signature big play. How nice was it to get that 91 yard touchdown? Um, honestly, you know, I was just waiting patiently for my turn to come, and I just so happened to get the ball. And the, the, uh, I give, I really want to thank uh, Tyson Morris, KJ, and um, Kern for the blocks and the throw. And without them, it wouldn't, it wouldn't even been a play. So I just thank them. KJ, what's the deal with, with Tyson Morris? Because you've gone to him early now. This is the third game in a row where he's made a big play. Just kind of what, what has opened things up for him this year? Uh, the main thing is uh, t for Tyson, it's just him just being uh, physical outside and just playing fast and just knowing what his assignment is, knowing his alignment, and just executing at a high level. That's the main thing. And going to Tyson, it's just his confidence is just through the roof now. So it's just I can trust him. He can trust me to just put the ball in the right spot. He'll go up and make a play for me. Uh, Traylon, I know that, that first game you'd missed a lot of practice, and uh, Sam Pittman said you're probably kind of rusty and feeling a lot of pressure. Well, how do you feel like you've sort of developed these first three games now that you're getting more in the flow? And um, I know you had a couple uncharacteristic drops that first game. What was that like for you? And if you both could describe the 91 yard uh, touchdown play in, in detail. Uh, honestly, I would say, you know, uh, practice makes perfect. Uh, not being able to practice. It's hard to just, you know what I'm saying, like go out there and play without practicing through the week. And so not being able, like for me, it was not knowing like my, I knew my assignments, but like I wasn't comfortable with them, you know what I mean? And so ha being able to practice the uh, the second week and the, this, this game right here was tremendously for me just because, you know, I went out there, I practiced, I knew exactly what I was looking at on the defense, catching the ball, you know, so it was big, practice is big. You know that that play, the ninety-one yard touchdown play, kind of describe it in detail. Did you think you were going to score on it when, when it got caught? Um, <laughs> honestly, I had, before I had already told uh, Kern, I was just like, if he if he makes his block, it's a touchdown. Before we went out there, and it was it was a yeah, touchdown. That was, yeah, that was the main thing. Uh -oh. Going out there, we was on the sideline first. Coach Brown was telling me about it. He was like, we get this look right here, we're going to run right here and just get the ball to him in space. So, main thing, went out there, looked at the defense, saw so he was getting nickel pressure. So, flip it out to him, it was just two on two block, and he just uh, make the safety miss, and that's what he did. Traylon, um, you guys are 3 and 0 for the first time in five years, and you're ranked. You got AM coming up. Just kind of maybe the, the state of the team and how you guys, what your confidence level is, and could both y'all address that? Um, honestly, just from my point of view, um, as a team, you know, it just, we're just we're just rolling, you know. Uh, we're not worried about us being ranked the three and zero. You know, it's all it's good, but we still want to play that like we've always played. You know, uh, blue collar team with a chip on our shoulder and just keep playing ball like we know how. KJ, there were a lot of moving pieces in front of you on the offensive line today. How do you think they did? And did you notice much of a, a difference? You know, with guys playing at different spots. Oh, that did a tremendous job. Uh, just showing how versatile they is on the uh, O line. Just, Knowing when Wags went down, uh, Tackler stepped up a uh, position. Uh, he normally a guard, so he stepped up to tackle. And when Ricky went down, uh, moved Brady from guard to tackle and put Tackler at center. So just knowing that those guys are versatile and just waited on that opportunity and just made the most of it. And the main thing was that all those guys was in sync and they was on, on the same page throughout the whole game. Both of you read one, but Dominic Johnson on the one drive had some huge runs and kept the drive going. Talk about his play and how big that drive was, because that gave you some early, mo fairly early momentum. Uh, on that one, I could say uh, Dominique, you know, he showed up. We've all seen what he could do in practice, but, you know, he was just never able to get out there on the field, like in certain plays and whatever. And so happening, like, I'm I'm tremendously proud of the kid, you know, because he went out there not being nervous, knew, knew, knowing his assignment, and he went out there and just played ball, you know, so. That's the main thing, just knowing that his confidence level is uh, steady increasing uh, each game. He's uh, producing uh, positive yards each game. So knowing that going into practice and knowing that he like he know what he's looking at, knowing the sound like Traylon said, playing fast, executing at a high level. So when he gets to game, it's all easy. It's just like it just like practice basically. So and we know he's capable of doing that practice. So it's good uh, we're off, uh, by Dominique.
Traylon, so Sam said after the game last week, you were like as happy as anybody in the locker room, even though you didn't get a lot of touches. Um, you know, not not all star players are like that. Kind of, how, how's your mindset about that? Um, honestly, I really don't care if I get the ball at all. I just want to win, and I know the team wants to win. So as long as we get the dub, get a win, I'm perfectly fine. I feel like I've had thousand yards that game without even touching the ball. So it's just, you know, I'm a team player. I don't really care about getting the ball as long as. KJ scoring, Tyson Moore scoring, everybody's having a good time. I'm having a good time, so that's just how I treat it. I have that final stats in front of it. KJ. I think you threw for almost 400 yards, and some people have been. Uh, what, what is it? Sorry, I can't. 366. That's pretty good. Well, what would you think of that? And you know, some people said, "Hey, KJ, he's you know a great runner and he hits some passes," but we're a little worried, you know, about his consistency. But you know, you had a monster day, and and Traylon, what would you think of his passing today? Um, honestly, you know, um, we can all we can all use a little touch up on everything, but I I'm extremely proud of KJ just because from where he's where he came from to where he is now, you know, his confidence is out the roof, just like he's we've said about everyone else, and it's just good to know that you got a confident quarterback back there, and you really ain't got nothing to worry about. Yeah, this game wasn't oh. Yeah, like uh, like Traylon said, the main thing is just uh, my confidence level through the roof. Uh, the main thing I just want to do is just uh, get up, give my guys a chance. The main thing, try to lead the ball in bounds, get other guys a chance for them to make uh, big plays down the field and just be aggressive when we can. This game wasn't without a little bit of adversity. In the second quarter, you got hit a few times, missed a few throws. What, what was going on during that quarter? Uh, the main thing, it was, just, it was all about timing. It was just, that's mainly what the uh, main thing was, timing. And uh, me just making sure, knowing where pressure is coming from, I kind of got – a little uh, confused out there. They was uh, trying to hide some different stuff and got me a couple times. But the main thing on the missed throws, just timing, basically. And on you guys being 3-0 and and just the feeling around the program going into the Texas A&M game? Uh, like I said uh, last week, uh, the main thing with us is we, uh, back to the basics. I mean, we're we doing what got us here now, so we go back to the basics from uh, square one, just keep working, uh, practice, preparation, uh, little details, film, all that matters. Uh, getting healthy, getting in the training room, make sure everybody healthy, 100% ready to go. We got an extended look at Malik today. How do you think he did tonight? Um, I, I'm proud of Malik. Uh, soon I, um, I told him uh, on the sideline, I was like, hey, you finna get up, uh, you, you gonna score the ball right here. So get out there, uh, just just play ball. Just be yourself. You ain't gotta do too much. Just play ball, be yourself, man. So when I came out of the game, I was hollering the whole time he was in. So I was just extremely proud of him.